No country can move forward if the leaders do not dream big and have the right vision. This is a dream. This is a vision. President Marley has big dreams for Haiti, dreams that he shared with the population and members of his government who are working with him to put the country on the path to long-term development. Education, civil rights, energy, environment, and employment are the five cornerstones of President Martelly's government. This is the first time in the history of Haiti that Article 18 of the country's constitution is fully applied. 1,287,214 children are receiving a free education. Imagine how wonderful it would be if my parents did not have to pay for my education. There are 10,114 schools, both public and private, that participate in the free education program. 2,814,865,968 good are available to accomplish President Martelly's dream. For the school year 2012-2013, the government handed out 974 school kits and made 833,093 reading books available to students. The government repaired 14 public schools, a total of 15,351 benches, and 57,000 chairs were placed in various public schools to improve the school environment. Free transportation and nutrition are major needs being met by the government in order to ensure that those children do well in school. President Marley provided 230 buses throughout the 10 states of the country to take the student to school. PNCS is working hard to offer them a hot meal every day. So many young men and women are without a professional skills. President Marley wants to find a solution to this problem. That's why he fought to integrate in the third cycle of the school curriculum a professional section allowing students to have a profession at the end of their academic career. There are 20 schools in the capital where the government offers students the option of learning a profession while in school. This program is in the pilot phase. President Marley is also concerned about college-age students. He always wants to know how a young student coming from the countryside is living in Port-au-Prince. So much so that he decided to give 18,000 goods to each and every college student as living expenses. When it comes to sports, the government has repaired several sports fields throughout the country. Gracier, Tomond, Kai Jacmel, Milo, Jeremy, Verret were first on the list. This is an ongoing process for the remaining cities. Gymnasium Vincent, which was the principal stadium for basketball and volleyball, was the first location to benefit from repairs after sustaining severe damage by the January 2010 earthquake. Many died doing or as a result of the earthquake of 2010 and many more were left homeless. The government is concerned about the future of these million or so homeless individuals who remain in tents. President Marley was aware that it would be difficult to improve their living conditions. With his determination, more than 700,000 people are being set up with homes. The president did something great for me. He provided a house for me to live. The Marley Lamotte administration is building 3,000 houses in Mont Cabrit. 100 of these houses have been ready there will be one health precinct, one health center, one public market, one school, one fire station. This project will create 3,500 jobs. More importantly, these dwellings are parasismic and include two bedrooms, one modern bathroom, and one dining room. In Savandian, in the city of Saint-Michel de la Talay, the construction of Village de l'Espoir will facilitate the relocation of 200 families. Each family will receive a house outfitted with a solar energy system and a plot where they can farm pigeon peas, carcass, or corn so they can feed and support themselves. This community will have one health center, 
one school and one plaza and one agro bank also tractors grinders and the government will provide to the community one agronomist and agrotechnicians to advise the farmers on their agriculture needs agriculture is one of the priority of the government to reactivate this program in the country the government repaired a few irrigation systems to water the farms for better results. Several hundreds of bags of fertilizer and seeds were distributed to the farmers throughout the country. Also, hundreds of goats were distributed for breeding. The Department of Agriculture is organizing several seminars and forums to guide the farmers with their production. President Modeli is working hard to establish a civil right and his justice for all crusades. President Modeli is fighting to establish three independent sectors of the government. He wants them to be equal with the same powers and the same means. President Modeli wants them to be complete to the same level. And this logic, as soon he was elected, he nominated in the Supreme Court a president to control this branch. In the Constitution, there was a concern about the judicial branch of the government and how justice should be applied to everyone. In the search of the solution of this problem, the president installed the CSPJ, Haitian Supreme Court. President Modeli initiated several meetings with several political actors about nominating together the permanent electoral board. President Modeli met with senators, congressmen, political leaders, and members from different organizations and civil society to work together towards negotiating a solution on how to create this board. The president refuses to be a belligerent dictator. He has showed his concern about Haiti's future. He thinks each a Haitian has a vested interest and the power to positively influence Haiti's future. At the present moment, the discussion is moving forward between the executive and the legislative branches, creating the permanent electoral board. The National Police does not have big means. The president is working to make this institution better in order to protect and serve the population. Energy is another major concern of the president who wants to provide electricity to the whole country. Right now, there is a diligent action to improve this sector. Through the program Give Me Electricity and Give Me Life, the government wants to provide electricity to 200 EDH customers. Areas such as De La Bay and Sodo are very attractive hotspots to both local and foreign tourists. The president recently provided electricity to these areas. Security concerns are being addressed in Bisantnia because of bright lights that covered the whole park days and nights. The government has several programs to educate the population about the importance of trees throughout the country and about their attitude toward the government is putting in place a project to treat Bassin Vincent and promote environment protection. Several forest officers received adequate information about the protection of our forests. They are there to stop people from cutting trees without proper authorization to produce coal to report them and bring them to justice. The president wants to change the fact that in the 21st century, some Haitian parents still wake up without knowing how they are going to feed their children. There is no better life without jobs. This is one of the reasons the president always talks about Haiti being open for business and inviting those investors to Haiti so our citizens can find jobs and support their families. Reconstruction and rehabilitation of the premature and several ministers, interior, foreign affairs and commerce will help create thousands of jobs. Construction of houses in Mont Cabrit and Zoranger will create more jobs, but the largest part is the industrial park of Caracol which will create more than 65,000 jobs in five years. Health is the most important part of life. This administration is aware of this problem. That is why the government is really focusing on a few health programs for the population. The health department organizes several forums and seminars just to collect information on how to improve the health of the population. 
the big campaign against infant diseases programs for parents to help them keep their children healthy. Campaigns against malaria, which plan to cover 1,800,000 persons, are some of the big realization of the health department. Today, the biggest realization for the retailers is the health card, which facilitate the owner of these cards to receive hospital services at a very low cost. Several hospitals are being built throughout the country and others repaired. Construction of the Jacques Mill Hospital and the State Hospital in Gonaive started in November 2012 and will finish in June 2014. The University Hospital in Mirbale just opened in October 2012. This hospital can handle 500 patients daily and boasts 314 hospital beds, more than 20 rooms for patient visit under the outpatient program, six rooms equipped for surgery plus a spacious lobby to receive patients. This hospital will still work under the program free healthcare. Haiti is too rich to be poor. President Marley never stopped repeating this phrase. Our wealth reside in our beautiful beaches, historical site, to mention only these. The tourism program will work closely with other sectors in providing an adequate education in the hospitality industry. The front door to the country is the airport to Saint Louverture which was severely damaged by the earthquake of January 2010. Today, we have a brand new airport that reflects pride of the Haitians in the eyes of the other countries. Haiti is on its way to become a tourist destination for foreigners, cruise boat, and tourists who want to see beautiful things. The 56th president of Haiti believes that Haiti can become what it was in the past. President Marley has surrounded himself with the most capable human resources in the country to realize the dream of all Haitians who want little by little the population will get out of poverty. One nation, one Haiti. Right.